as our world wildly veers towards one disaster to another, it's also a good idea to stop and smell the rapidly decaying roses once in a while just to remind us that things could always be worse. From water tornadoes to the curiously titled Icicles of Death, here are the 15 most dangerous natural phenomena in the world. <sighs> Number 15, Water Spout. From its name alone, you know the water spout is probably not going to be pleasant. But the reality is actually even worse, if you can believe that. Just once, I'd like to find a natural phenomenon called a candy spout or something. Can we make that happen, universe? To put things in the most basic and understandable terms, a water spout is a tornado that forms over water. It shares all the same basic characteristics as a land-based tornado. Only this one is often accompanied by thunderstorms, high winds, violent seas, large hail, and some very, very dangerous lightning. So, altogether, it's terrible news for boats. In fact, there are many reports of ships being sunk by water spouts throughout history, making this one of the most deadly natural phenomena you can hope to find in a non-land setting. <laughs> Just about anybody that spends a portion of their life on the sea will see a water spout at some point in their life, and all will agree that it's never a pleasant encounter. Often, it results in destruction, death, or just some very, very ruined pants. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14, Brinicle. We didn't make this one up. I promise. The brinicle is very real, and it's pretty much fatal for anybody that happens to get caught up in it. Although, let's be honest, death by brinicle. Sounds like a great one for the eulogy. <laughs> A brinicle is what happens when frigid air temperatures cause seawater in the Arctic regions of the globe to freeze. While all other water tends to freeze into one solid block of ice, this seawater freezes as a weird, sponge-like crystalline structure that has some concentrated salt water or brine within it. Hence, brinicle. What a creative name. However, consider yourself lucky. Brinicles are apparently not dangerous to humans, since we never really travel beneath the ice sheets. But for the creatures that do dwell down there, well, they get stuck in what are commonly referred to as the icicles of death. That's an even better one for the eulogy. A brinicle is a fascinating thing, and it's the cause of death for many a clueless bottom feeder. Human suck-ups accepted, but still, very few people seem to know anything about them. I mean, I still think they're made up, and I've seen the evidence. Number 13, Beacon of Maracaibo. Is this not one of the coolest named phenomena you've ever heard of in your life? The Beacon of Maracaibo is pretty breathtaking and just a little dangerous. It's also a world record holder, which I'm pretty sure is a rare occurrence for a natural phenomenon. They don't tend to have many talents. For over nine hours a day on 300 days of the year, there is a continuous streak of lightning that hits over Venezuela's Lake Maracaibo. It's such a regular occurrence that the Guinness Book of World Records named Venezuela as the holder of the record for highest concentration of lightning, which is pretty cool, right? Not when you consider the plight of the poor fishermen. While it might be kind of awesome to be working in the lightning capital of the world, almost three people die every year as a result of the electrical bolts, almost always fishermen who simply have no way to avoid it out on the lake. There's probably nothing scarier for a fisherman than to suddenly be surrounded by lightning bolts and for those bolts to just keep going for hours and hours and hours. Well, maybe mutant fish, but those are more of an ocean thing. Number 12, Submarine Volcano. 
We've spent so much of our time on this planet freaking out about land volcanoes that we never stopped to freak out about the many volcanoes lurking underwater. And there are many apparently. It's really surprising that we still go in the ocean at all. The whole thing seems designed to just kill us. In fact, some of the most productive volcanoes on Earth lie deep underwater, many under 8,500 feet of water to be specific. These submarine volcanoes produce around 75% of the world's annual output of magma. It's all of that magma and lava that then provide the world's most unusual ecosystems with heat and chemicals, believe it or not. So they're productive and also helpful, which believe me, is a rare combination. While most people have never heard of a submarine volcano, they'll most definitely have seen the consequences of an underwater eruption, powerful shipwrecks, and even more destructive tsunamis. The submarine volcano has all the same frightening power that a land-based equivalent has, only it's submerged in water. There's nothing simpler, nothing gentler about it. This thing could kill you, and then it'll do its best to kill everyone on land. Best of both worlds. Number 11, Ice Tsunami. It may look like we're just putting words together now, but we're not. Well, we are, but not in this case. The ice tsunami is an impressive visual phenomenon that is also incredibly dangerous for unsuspecting humans. Mostly because we've never seen it before. Also, we're pretty stupid for an intelligent species. An ice tsunami is not the same as a water tsunami. In fact, the ice tsunami works more as a big, moving iceberg. If the ocean current is particularly strong or the winds are powerful, the waves push huge piles of ice onto the land, some up to 40 feet high. The power of these ice tsunami is so immense that it can completely destroy buildings just by impact. And they've been known to to completely level small villages. And yet, people still go out with their camera to get an up-close look at them. Some people never learn. The ice tsunami is a rare natural phenomenon, but that doesn't mean it will never happen. In actuality, these things are extremely powerful. And when they do happen, they happen. You don't want to be in your house if one of these things ever touches it. You'll be wearing the roof. Number 10. Milky Sea Phenomenon Legendary adventure writer Jules Verne invented many things for his work, but one of the things he did not invent is 20,000 leagues under the sea. The Milky Sea, a phenomenon that sees water mysteriously light up in an almost inhuman glow. This patch of ocean, measuring roughly the same size as Connecticut, was pretty much unknown until 2005. But as far back as 1870, Jules Verne was writing about it, describing it as a large extent of white wavelets often to be seen on the coasts of Ambuna. Verne later describes the effect as being caused by a luminous worm known as Infusoria, although nobody really knows if that's true or not. However, this phenomenon is dangerous for a slightly different reason than you'd expect. People keep falling in. Seriously. Given its magical neon quality, people keep leaning over to get a closer look and find themselves falling into the cold blue deep. And who knows what's down there? Sea cows, maybe. If you're looking to avoid a watery death, it's probably good advice to not go diving into the ocean just because you see a bit of glowy surface water. Consider that a life tip from your good friends here. Don't die. Number 9. Global Warming If there's one natural phenomenon we should be concerned about over all others, it's this. Climate change is real, and it's already causing irreversible damage to the natural state of our world. Global warming is already becoming uncontrollable. When carbon dioxide, or CO2, and other pollutants or greenhouse gases gather in the atmosphere, they begin absorbing the sunlight and solar radiation. But, whereas typically, this radiation would just evaporate into space, 
space. Those accumulated pollutants trap the heat and reflect it back towards the planet, resulting in the greenhouse effect. Or, if you want a more straightforward name, global warming, which in turn is just one aspect of climate change. If global warming were to continue escalating, we'd see animals going extinct, water drying up around the world, as well as more unpredictable weather patterns and wildfires. It's all very Mad Max. Scientists have been warning of these environmental problems problems for decades, but things have never been quite so stark. There is only a small window of time to change our habits, save our world, and avoid what could be a devastating catastrophe for our planet and all who live upon it. So in essence, this is a very dangerous phenomenon, and we should all take it seriously. Number 8. Fire Whirl Yes, fire whirls sound like a really fun thing that would happen on Independence Day or something, but they're actually not fun at all. A single fire whirl can cause miles and miles of devastation, some of which may never actually be undone. A fire whirl is a rising twist of hot air that sucks flames up and basically turns itself into a towering, blazing whirlwind. If they become big enough, these things can become full-scale fire tornadoes, which combine the devastation of a regular tornado with some extra burny chaos. Fire whirls are generally only found in the midst of wildfires, but that doesn't necessarily necessarily have to be the case. They are, however, dangerous in just about every single way, with one famous 1923 whirl in Japan killing 38,000 people in just 15 minutes. That should give you an idea of just how powerful these flames can be. Not to mention unpredictable. Fire whirls are, thankfully, pretty rare, but you can bet that they will appear as often as wildfires or other natural disasters occur around the world. They're the un welcomed guest at a nightmare. More often than not, definitely not one for Independence Day. Maybe Earth Day. Number 7. Foamy Storm it's pretty unsettling to see a whole city underwater, no matter the circumstances. But there's an unusual extra helping of unsettling when it comes to the sudden influx of sea foam running through a city. <laughs> It's hard to imagine that there is an explanation for this one, but I'll find a way. This is a rare occurrence. It generally happens after big storms or cyclones, washing up the salt water's proteins, dead algae, and other particles onto the surface, and, more often than not, into the streets of its nearby city. The unusual phenomenon has been documented by many confused citizens who just couldn't figure out what was happening. But experts have also said that there may be an extra level of danger to this random flooding. Apparently, the displacement of the water brings with it sea snakes that are also washed onto the surface. But while a bite from a sea snake is unlikely, it's venomous. So be warned. Thankfully, this is an extremely rare phenomenon, and one that usually ends with no deaths or even injuries. All things considered, that's a pretty good outcome for what could be one of the more extreme weather phenomena. And that explanation that I came up with? Malfunction at the, um, seafoam factory. Number 6. Avalanches do we really need to explain why avalanches are so dangerous? It's just a collection of big hunks of snow and ice falling at a speed so great that it could quickly flatten you on impact. There are so many movies and stories about the danger of avalanches that it almost feels pointless to explain. But it's my job, so get ready for some splainin'. Most avalanches are caused by humans, around 90% in fact, and they're usually the cause of approximately 40 deaths in the United States alone. But the real danger of the avalanche comes from the unpredictability of their arrival. There's simply no way to know where or when one of these natural killers will strike. Some could be powdered snow sloughs moving as a relatively harmless mass, or they could be huge slabs of snow and ice moving at up to 100 miles an hour. That's substantially less harmless. Given just how dangerous and fatal avalanches can be, it's shocking to see just how little skiers and tourists actually know about them. This lack of education, more often than not, results in some calamity and disaster which could be easily averted. Number 5. Wildfires 
Of all the natural disasters you can suffer, this has to be one of the most feared. We've all seen the catastrophic wildfires that have swept the planet over the past few years, so we all know just how devastating these things can be. Wildfires are unplanned fires that spread across natural areas like forest or grassland. While most are started by humans or just natural phenomena, around half are complete mysteries and nobody truly knows how they began. A single wildfire can result in a spread that all but wipes out the basic necessities of human life. Transportation, communication, water supply, air quality, I could go on. There's never been a wildfire that has not, in some way, disrupted the lives of those nearby or in some cases, taken the lives of those nearby. To sum up, a wildfire is one of the most dangerous blazes you could ever experience. Of all the phenomena on our list, this one isn't particularly surprising. Everybody has seen the impact that they can have, not to mention just how impossible they can be to put out once they're ignited. Number four, lightning strikes. The chances of you being struck by lightning are low, to say the least. There's about a 1 in 1.2 million chance of you being struck by lightning in a given year. Holy shit! So it's not something to be concerned about when you leave the house, but it can be pretty unfortunate. A bolt of lightning travels around 300,000 kilometers an hour and will strike a power of around 300 volts and will strike at a power of around 300 kilovolts. Over my head. <laughs> which I'm sure you know is a lot. In fact, it's more energy than can be found in a nuclear reactor. If you were struck by that bolt, the disruption in your heart's rhythm would possibly result in sudden cardiac arrest, which is the thing that most often kills victims of lightning. If you were unlucky enough to have the bolt enter your skull, it would cook your brain and land you in a coma, or even permanent paralysis. All of this is very bleak and sounds eh, terrifying. But again, the chances of you getting struck by a lightning bolt are so low that it almost doesn't make sense to even think about it. You're probably more likely to choke on a bar of chocolate. Great, now I'm scared of chocolate. Number three, tornadoes. We've all seen The Wizard of Oz, right? Well, here's another example of how movies have lied to us. Tornadoes do not, in fact, whisk you away to a better world. More often than not, they just destroy everything and slam you into the side of a flying cow. Very few people know that tornadoes actually start from thunderstorms that then extend the rotating column of air down to the ground. That column then goes on to cause untold destruction across whichever location is unfortunate enough to have been hit. The more violent tornadoes can generate wind speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, capable of destroying large buildings and hurling vehicles some hundreds of yards away. All of this damage together can be anywhere up to 50 miles in length. It's hard to imagine a simple column of air causing this much damage, but it's absolutely true. Tornadoes are relatively rare compared to other natural phenomena, but they're incredibly dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. Duh. Also, anyone that goes tornado chasing is nothing short of a moron. Do not follow their lead. It'll only end up with you starting a podcast, and Lord knows we have enough. Number two, landslides. A landslide is the unhinged cousin of the avalanche, an unpredictable and gleefully chaotic falling of rocks, earth, or debris along a sloped section of land. They're also one of the costliest natural disasters in the world, but we'll get to that. Usually, landslides are caused by other natural disasters, including earthquakes, volcanoes, or rain, so in a way, they're like aftershocks and earthquakes, if not more costly. When they occur in or near populated areas, they can be a major life-threatening hazard and are often found to cause somewhere between 25 and 50 deaths per year in the United States. <laughs> Ah! 
And that's before we factor in the economic cost. In the US alone, yearly earthquakes cost up to 3.5 billion in damage. And since they're a natural phenomenon, there's nothing that can be done. Like the avalanche, there are too few people educated on the dangers of these natural killers. Landslides are some of the most fatal natural disasters you could hope to find anywhere in the world. They're definitely something to be concerned about. This is the wrong type of rock and roll. <sighs> I'm so ashamed of myself. Number one, earthquakes. Need we say more, the earthquake is the most dangerous natural phenomena in the world, if only because it's both the most fatal and the most common anywhere on the planet. Most people will experience an earthquake at some point in their lives, so this should be hashtag relatable. The cause of earthquakes begins in, you guessed it, the Earth. When underground rock breaks along the fault, the sudden release of energy creates seismic waves that force the broken rocks to rub together until they break. When the rocks break, the pressure is released, and the earthquake finally occurs until they get stuck again. Earthquakes are responsible for an unimaginable amount of deaths every single year and cost a substantial amount in damages. <laughs> It seems that we see a number of countries experiencing the devastation every single year. And sadly, that isn't going to end anytime soon. What makes earthquakes doubly dangerous is its consequences. Strong earthquakes bring aftershocks, tsunamis, landslides, and a whole bunch of other entries on our list. An earthquake is not just a disaster in its own right, it's basically the key that opens up a lot of doors to a lot of extra trouble. Have you ever witnessed or experienced any of these natural phenomena? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.